An international team of scientists assembled by the United Nations World Health Organization will be traveling to China. It's part of the International Health Agency's hunt for the origins of what is now a global pandemic. The team of 10 researchers from Europe, the United States, Japan, Vietnam, Australia, Russia and Qatar will join Chinese scientists who have already spent months trying to track down the source of the coronavirus that causes COVID-19. Their mission will start in the city of Wuhan, where the first cases of COVID-19 were reported in late 2019. But it's still not clear if the virus originated in the central Chinese city, or if it was brought in from elsewhere. One of the key factors in determining the origins of the coronavirus is finding the first person to be infected with it. But locating that patient zero is a lot harder than it sounds. When officials in Wuhan raised the alarm about a mysterious pneumonia on December 31st, 2019, more than two dozen patients suffering from it had links to the city's Huanan seafood wholesale market. Scientists generally agree the coronavirus most likely came from an animal, possibly a bat. But just how the virus jumped from animal to human is a key question the international researchers hope to answer. Dr. Fabian Lindertz from the Robert Koch Institute in Germany is on the team. And so the big scope is to try to find out what happened, so how the virus jumped from which animal to perhaps an intermediate host and then to humans to reconstruct this scenario. While the seafood wholesale market was a hotspot for transmission, so far there is no hard evidence that links an infected animal to the market or anywhere else. That means the scientists will have to work backwards. So we are starting on the human side, checking if there are uh, stored uh, serum samples, perhaps swabs from symptomatic people from the months before the first known case. So trying then to see where that track leads us, if it's in another city or if it stays in Wuhan or where that goes. The WHO team will be scouring through hospital records for early cases that their Chinese counterparts might have missed, testing stored blood samples and interviewing the earliest patients. They'll also try to trace animal sources through the market, mapping supply chains and coming up with a strategy to test more animals. Chinese officials say that so far none of the potential host animals they've tested have had the SARS-CoV-2 virus. Right now, the best clue as to where the virus originated was found in 2013, in a cave in China's southwestern Yunnan province. Researchers isolated genetic material from a virus found in a bat in the cave. The genetic sequence would later prove to be 96% similar to SARS-CoV-2. But while it's the closest relative to the COVID-19 virus discovered so far, it's very distant in evolutionary terms. Evolutionary biologist Edward Holmes from the University of Sydney in Australia told the Post that getting to a point of certainty on the source animals means finding a virus that is more than 99% similar across the whole genome. And it's still not certain that the virus originated in China. Genetic evidence collected from a child who was infected with COVID-19 in Italy in December 2019 and from a man in France who tested positive in the same month indicate that the virus was spreading earlier than first thought. The WHO scientists emphasize that their mission is not a blame game. I think um, what's, what's important to stress about the mission is that we are not looking for a guilty country or something like that. Spillover events from animals to humans happen all the time, even here in Germany. The scientists and the WHO are also urging patients as they search for the origin of SARS-CoV-2. It is a hunt for a killer that could take many years.